look like they did know what they did. I've been thinking, yeah. And that's the whole thing. A lot of this is an act now with a lot of these groups acting like they ain't down with that shit. Because when you look, with yeah, because some of that ICP music was uh, kind of rebellious. Yeah, first. Just like remember Ice T's. Yeah, Ice T's. Billions of shit. Now, definitely not no rapper down there. That first body count album is my shit, boy. That line ain't nothing but honkies. First three is shit. Oh shit. man, check this out. Yesterday I went to the store, the garment, you know, the fabric store. I'm thinking about making, adding on to my garment. Anyway, this is a dude who just like Ice T it was a fag man. What? Dude at the fabric store was just like oh, Ice T. Oh, I think that. Uh, and he was a faggot, man. I think that Ice T was a faggot. <laughs> he probably, I don't, yeah. You no, know Ice T's a faggot. I hate that. That's fucked up. You know he's a faggot. He had his music up. Hell yeah, he did so. He and now, for that spirit to leave him, man, he can't make that music like that no more, man. Come on. Man. I ain't even heard the new That's gonna, Oh, it's garbage, man. You don't want to hear that shit. You don't want to hear that shit. You want to hear it and cuss it out. Cuss him out. Well, as you can tell, obviously, you hear the spirits going, man. Yeah, that first, man, that old body count shit is hard, man. That shit makes people go punch somebody in the face. Right, 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 right. That shit is dope as fuck. But they can't do it no more, though. And I see they trying to do it, but they can't. Even when they're performing that old music, man, they don't feel the same no more. Check this out. Damn, look at that bitch. It's the fucking devil. I'm trying to fuck that bitch up. I'm the devil is. You see this? That's a double. You're the devil too. Right. Satan. Out here on the streets of Columbus, Ohio, again, pushing this truth. The wake up dog. Marking Israelites. You're an Israelite too, You're bro. Israelite. You're an Israelite. You ain't African American. That's, yeah. a, that's a name for niggas. He said, okay. Oh, he wants to, he wants to accept that. No, you're an Israelite. Okay. Okay. You're an Israelite, bro. You're an Israelite, right? Yeah, you was laughing at it. I was not laughing at you. You said it like it was a joke. You said it like it was a joke. That's all I said. This ain't no joke, man. You know what you Every day. It's not a joke, right? So what, what's your nationality? Dude, why are you asking me these questions? What is it your business? It, it, it is my business. What is, is my business? business? This no, is my, my business. No, your business is my business. How is my business Because my business is to teach the gospel to all nations. I do. You don't need to teach me nothing. No, I do need to teach you. That's why you the Lord me? got me at. That's why you I'm told me. Yeah, I, yes, I do know you. How do you know me? Because you're from the city of Jacob. Because you okay, an Israelite. Right, right. Are you sorry? You an Israelite? They, they are old fool. Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord said unto me, Go to the midst of the city. You never gonna get the word of God. Here you go. In the Lord said. Huh? This is that brother. That's the little boy. You ain't been reading no Bible. No, no, we no, 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 you ain't read no, the Bible. No, we read the Bible. You ain't read so the are Bible. You, are you an Israelite? Don't ask me yay or nay. Question. Yay or nay. Who are you to ask is you or is, is you not an Israelite? Is you or is you not an Israelite? Is you or is you not an Israelite? Oh, I heard what you said, your comment that you said when I was walking off. I'm leaving it alone. I, I didn't want I don't. you to leave it alone. No, 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 no. That, I, that's why I brought you back. back. I had to bring you back. back. You ain't I had to bring you back. Nothing. He might be able to teach me something. You might. He might oh, be but not me. That's the only No, 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 no. Like you do that. <laughs> because you come off with the wrong attitude, man. I got your ass to come back. Yeah, you got I? me your ass to come back mad, not to learn that's nothing. Good. You're supposed to be mad. The what Bible am I going to be mad about? What the Bible tell me to be mad? You damn right. Oh, what? Bible are you reading? The Lord, the Lord said he What angry. Bible is that? The Lord said he angry that? at the wicked What is the Bible? Day. What Bible are you reading? Ecclesiastes 7 Listen, What Bible Listen. are you reading? Surely oppression. What Bible are you reading? Make it a wise it man, man. Surely King oppression. King James. Surely the oppression. You read it again, bro. Okay. okay. Yeah. You know King James. Yeah, I know it real seven. well. Man, you don't know what, me. What, you don't know how what long I've been. What What difference is it make? What difference? I'm talking about a whole what different color thing. Is Jesus? I'm talking about your what attitude. What color is Jesus? Your attitude. What That's color, what I'm what color is Jesus? Surely, oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. So he said, what Bible we read it? We read the King James Bible. Don't you mean what? I ain't telling you what. I curse his ass out. What was I getting? Oh, Ezekiel 90. Ezekiel 94. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations. Oh, that so your boy said, yeah. So your boy said, uh, he said, what business? I said, your business is my business. I'm supposed to mark your ass. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? So they don't need to get a hook. Man. What's up, that, devils? They don't excite you, man. Have fun. We know. We these devils come up. We have fun. We have fun with these fools. We don't get overexcited dealing with these fools. He he got overexcited with us. Right, right. Because we already know that they, they don't know nothing. See, but that's our job though. Stepping off of it. Steven. That means the son is Steven or something like that. See that shield? Yeah, that go back to Israel. Actually. That's Steven. That you know, Steven, that's a difficult yeah, name. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a funny name. That's he probably his family or something. But yeah, but that dude, see that's how you get people to stop. Is you gotta create controversy. Mm -hmm. You gotta fuck with people, man. So that's our job is to fuck with people. We, we play psychology. Yeah, so we, psychology. Psychological tricks on your head. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hold up. Not like Sigmund Freud. You know Sigmund Freud was a so-called Jew? Did y'all know that? Yeah. Sigmund, yeah. you know, actually, the, the white man's psychology, or not, it really go back to the so-called Jew, who's the devil. He's not a Jew, he's an Edomite. But yeah, Sigmund Freud, he was a fucking cokehead. He sniffed cocaine all day, <laughs> and these people praise his ass. So you got to get a degree at a college to be a psychologist. You got to go study Sigmund Freud, a, 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 a cocaine addict. So to get a degree in psychology, you have to give praise to a cocaine addict, Sigmund Freud. You know that? So you know America is the kingdom of Satan? You don't know that? You know the most high hates America? He's going to destroy the fire. Evidence. Give me uh, Psalm 11 and 6. Right. You got plenty of evidence. The Bible's full of That's all the Bible is. So you going to tell me America's not wicked and evil? No, I don't think it is. It's, 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 I think it's, the whole world's evil. Though. Well, you're right about that. But America pretty much controls the whole world. Yeah. Psalms 11 and 6. Right. Upon the wicked, he shall rain snares and fire and brimstone in a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of your crop. When we, we hear about fire and brimstone in the Bible, that's talking about... Israelites! <laughs> what are you talking about? Just talking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because the Lord's going to bring fire on America. America's going to be destroyed. It's going to be turned to a giant pile of ashes. You know what I'm saying? Read that again. That's that fuck. When you read about fire and brimstone in the Bible, people try to say it's talking about hell. Nah. It's going to rain fire and brimstone in the sky. There ain't, no, there ain't no such thing as no uh, mythological, fiery underworld called hell where you perish and burn forever. That's not in the scripture. The Lord is, okay, the Lord ain't gonna do that to nobody, but he's gonna destroy America with fire. Oh, what you got? Oh, no, I still got it. Give me that ammo. I got so it. Yeah, I got it. Huh? So we think this is like hell on earth? Right, heaven and hell are conditions played out on earth. You ever heard the saying, black man's hell, white man's heaven? Hey, white man's heaven, black man's hell? Well, yeah. Cause yeah, life, heaven, and hell is they know the conditions just played out on earth. So we in hell right now. You, know? you in hell. Go in hell. Right. You no. Know? This well, is hell. Again. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire and brimstone, and a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. A horrible tempest is a, a, a tempest is a storm. So when you see the nuclear missiles drop, the nuclear missiles is prophesied all through the scripture. All through from Genesis to Revelation, okay, and that, that's what's coming, man. New when, Testament. Just like when you see that uh, the nuclear missiles drop and then that mushroom cloud form, that, that's a horrible tempest. That's a great storm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You see, there's a big conflict right now with the U.S. and Russia, right? Yeah. That's going to escalate. It's just going to lead to the missiles. Well, it's been building up for years and for years and years. Right. That's right. That's why. Huh? Israel and Palestine. Well, wait, it, it, so get Revelation 2 and 9. Let me read this real quick. Uh, I'll get it. Amos 9 and 8. Oh, yeah, this is, this is a good scripture. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom. America. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Let me ask, let me ask since you're talking about Israel and Palestine, who, who, uh, who controls America? Do you know? You said uh, Revelation 2 and 9? The so-called Jew controls America. Revelation 2 and 9? Yeah. yeah. The so-called Jews that live in the state of Israel, they, they control America, okay? They run the government, they run Hollywood, they control the media. So, uh, like the New World Order? Right, the New World Hollywood. Order is the Jew World Order. Okay. But it's so-called Jew. Uh, get Revelation 2 and 9. Revelation 2 and 9. They're, they're a bunch of devils, okay? Read the, the Bible tells you. Read the 
again. I know thy works and tribulations and poverty. The Lord knows our poverty. We're all poor, okay? We can, everybody out here lives week to week. But thou art rich. We're rich because we got this knowledge. Keep going. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. And are not. But are the synagogue of Satan. So the so-called Jews in the state of Israel, that's the synagogue it's of right Satan. Right here in the Bible. Uh -huh. Right here in the Bible. Read a uh, three and nine. Three and nine. Revelation 3 and So nine. in the Bible, it put the, it's in there twice. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not. And are not. But do lie. They lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. So they're going into slavery. They're going to bow down. They're going to lift the dust of our feet. Right now over there in Israel, they blown little children up. Women and children. Yeah, they done it. Right as we speak, they done killed like 700 Palestinians already. Yeah, imagine that. Mostly children women and women. Women and children, man. Women and children. They are defenseless. They blowing up hospitals. You know what I'm saying? They blowing up hospitals. Hospital. School. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. They, they just totally, just totally. That's a terrorist though. The little children are terrorists. Mm -hmm. Right now, the so-called Jews committing genocide against the Palestinians. But the world is, the, the, the elites are embracing as if they're doing a righteous act. But if you, know? you if you watch Fox News or CNN, which is all controlled by the so-called Jews, they're going to tell you what? Palestinians are terrorists. And all they're doing is fighting against their oppressor. Okay? But even right. though they're Muslims, though, so there's none innocent, actually. Yeah, right. There's that's, none innocent. That's Joe 3, I think. Yeah, that's Joe 3. Even, actually, not, they're not all Muslims. You got Christians over there, too. You know, but... Oh, here you go. Because Allah is not going to save nobody. Here you go. This is Zechariah 9 and 6. And a bastard that's shall that's dwell true. in Ashdod. You know where Ashdod is? That's a port city in, in Israel right now. So the scriptures are saying a bastard shall <laughs> dwell in Ashdod. That's some bastard. Meaning they, they, they don't belong there. You know what I'm saying? And I will cut off the pride of the Philistines. So the so-called Jew, they stole that land to begin with back after World War II. Mm -hmm. Yo, I'm sure you know the history, right? The politics. Yeah. I can tell through the spirit you already know a little something. Yeah, I, I'm pretty much. I'm into the, you know, uh, I like, I speak out for uh, human rights and I speak out against government corruption. I'm part of Anonymous. I don't know if you guys know that group. Of course. I've heard of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anonymous. Yes. That's what I, I try to do. You I a hacker? You. No, I'm not a hacker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wish. But, yeah. That's easy, bro. You I, I know all those. I know every, every single one of those. And, yeah, yeah, this is the time we're living in, man. Yeah. Time yeah. Of, this is the time of the great awakening. Yeah, the yeah. great, right, right. We're in the, in the age of truth right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why they want to shut the internet down. Because everybody's pushing too much truth. Everybody's communicating. The devil don't like that. You know? That's why, they, you know, they put a, there's a media blackout over there in Palestine right yeah. now. You know, no, no reporters are allowed in the Gaza, in the Israel. They're killing yeah, they, 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 they taking out the grid, right. You know, that's going on here in the United States of America. Like, you look at Detroit, they cut the water off to those people, man. Yeah. This this is America, though. But, who, but whose water are they cutting off? <laughs> they're, they're mostly black people. Israelites. 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 Where y'all from? You gotta have I'm water to survive. You gotta have water just to shit, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I, gotta I don't support. mean to say all that. You know, you need water for everything. The language, but yeah, nah, sometimes to, 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 for people to understand the severity of a, of a situation, you've got to use certain language. Well, you know? I mean, it's something you, these so-called Christians ain't going to teach you because they're a bunch of homosexuals. you got to have water, man. And the scriptures, man, it tells you how we need water and things, or certain things on the earth to survive. But at the yeah. same time, those very things is going to become a curse, too. You know, just like now, people need water. I got a scripture for that. It's a curse one. They need yeah. water. This, I need uh, one in water, too. This is a Lamentation. I'm going to start at the top. Let me read this real quick. Lamentations. You know about the book of Lamentations? You know you got Jeremiah, the Lamentations. The, the word Lamentations means to lament, to cry. You crying. You know, we're out here crying and weeping. You know what I'm saying? So we in such a low state right now. We crying to the most high. You know what I'm saying? Lamentations 5 and 1. Remember, O Lord, what has come upon us. Consider and behold our reproach. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. Our houses to aliens. That go back to the so-called Jew stealing our identity. So the Bible says the Israelites are the most numerous people on earth. We're more numerous than the stars of heaven and the sands of the seashore. There's billions of Israelites on the earth and we're scattered among all the nations. They don't, they're all here like, like he's explaining. 
all Israel ain't gonna look like so-called Negroes and Indians. Right, because you know Jesus is a black man. Yeah. Like this right here, this is the devil. Let me see this. If Jesus is an Israelite. His real name is Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew tongue. Okay, this right here is the devil. Okay, this is the image of the devil, of Satan. All right. Yeah, like the sands of the sea, like you just explained, like the sands of the sea. That means you've been scattered amongst these other nations, and we looking like those other nations. So you can't even say that. Oh, that's an Israelite because somebody look like a, a Chinese man. Like for example, Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee. He's, he's, he's a he's a obviously he's a so-called he's a, an Israelite. Yeah. He just don't look like one. Actually, if you can look at him, he does. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He has that stare. That's why black people. You know, he has that stare. Only Israel can have that state. You know what I'm saying? And black people love it. Uh, Bruce Lee. Yep, yep, yep. And you know when Bruce Lee was here, he mostly he mostly hung around. Oh, uh, he was training Kareem with Jabbar. Uh, he was pretty much he was a philosopher. He was hanging around Jimmy Hendrix up in Seattle. Oh, uh, they grew up together. They grew up together. Bruce Lee and Jimmy Hendrix. Oh yeah. Imagine that. You know Jimmy Hendrix is an Israelite. This is proof who the Israelites are. The the Bible. The, the biggest book in the, the, the biggest book in the Bible is the book of Psalms. With songs, the Israel likes to sing songs. We like to praise the Lord with spiritual music. And Jimi Hendrix, he's the most spiritual of them all. You listen to Jimmy. So, like Jimi Hendrix would open up a trans-dimensional portal on your ass. <laughs> Playing a guitar. Yeah, it, it take you on a spiritual journey with that music. And that stuff he did. Back before computers and all that. And you know they still saying? can't even just they, they, they still can't ain't imitate They them. still ain't been there, yeah, right. Everybody trying to imitate them. They can't even do it. It's the spirit that gave them that power to do it. It's the yeah. spirit. Just like King David played the lyre, played the harp, you know what I'm saying? You read the Bible, right? Okay, uh, when you read the Bible, it's the story of the soul. The Lord took the spirit out of King Saul, right? And, and, and when that spirit of the Lord jumped out of him, demons jumped in Saul. Okay? And he, he, them demons was driving him crazy, which they do drive you crazy. And he needed something done, like he called David to play that guitar, play some soothing music for him. And the demons jumped right about him. Yeah, but the music, the music was so beautiful and spiritual, it drove, it drove them demons away. And music does have the opposite effect, too. Yeah, you can put demons on you. Put demons on you. <laughs> right. That's why when these... That rap music, that, that bullshit that you're doing. Don't they, after they cut an album, they take the music to a, a yeah. room. Well, who, who controls the music industry? The so-called Jew. Now, everything that comes out of the music industry is on MTV, it's all filled. It's all garbage. Like, these days, to get some good music, you gotta, you gotta go to SoundCloud or something. You can't be going to MTV and the radio. That's a bunch of garbage. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> this is Amos 5 and 23. Take thou away from me the noise of thy song. Yeah, the Most High hates this music. When they play, uh, be rolling down the street, bumping that bullshit. Oh, man. It sound like, uh, it sound like they got demons just jumping right out the speakers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know, music is a form of magic. You know that? You know what it means to cast a spell? Right, but, so, but what does the word spell mean? To uh, spell a word. To spell a word is the same thing to cast a spell because you, to cast a spell, you have to spell words, you got to use words. Yeah. So, so the, 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 a magician is a, a musician, is a writer. They use words, to, like you said, to put you in a trance. You yeah, know what I'm like saying? Right. Words. Yeah. Right, because a, a lot of the musicians are Freemasons, okay? Like I said, the so-called Jew control is the people. So when you say so-called Jew, do you mean like all the entire Jewish population? Why? Well, even some of them are our people. Yeah. No, they're they're not. And not every single last person who thinks they're one of them yeah. is actually one of them. Some of them are our brothers. Because our people have been scattered among all nations. Okay. Yeah, you run. Like, like the Beastie Boys. The Beastie Boys are Israelite. Okay. Those are our people. <laughs> That's why the most I took your boy out. Uh, yeah, what was it? MCA? Ad Rock. No, that Ad Rock. It was MCA. Oh, yeah, the MCA. Yeah, the Beast Boys obviously are so called. Ain't no Beast Boys no more. Yeah. Oh, but they the Israelites were full though. They, they filled that spot, they filled that vacancy quick. Did they? Yeah, man, you know how much money they make at Oh, uh, They got. They ain't trying to cut into that. 
<laughs> Should MCA <laughs> started they, the they Beastie Boys? Can't could have the yeah, Beastie Boys saying, without him. It's just a tribute to that the, the one that died, man. So they continue to live. It's like Sublime. They going without Bradley. This, this, oh, hey, Sublime. This thing is deeper than what people think, man. I'm gonna use this as an example, like Ephesians six and twelve. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against principalities. Right. You can't judge people by the flesh. Mm -hmm. no. You got to judge by the spirit. Yeah. yeah. Everything we do is spiritual. We don't just like, look, that guy's a black guy. That's our brother. Right. Because yeah. there's right. actual black people walking around that are actually part of the wicked scene. Yeah. <laughs> they just look like so-called people. Yeah. I mean, it's a spiritual thing going on. That's why it's so confusing to most people when they walk up and talk to them. Yeah. Because their understanding is what Pastor Porkchop taught in the churches. Yeah. But that's not the truth. The truth when you go up in the churches, though, they never ever mention the word Israel. And if they do, they'll never teach their congregation the Israelites. What they'll do, they'll say to them, them devils over there in the state of Israel are the real Jews. And we gotta, those are the Lord's people. We gotta respect them. They're not the Lord's chosen. Those are a bunch of the devils. Chosen. Hey, let me uh, read the rest of this real quick. I ain't get a finish. Okay. Uh, remember, O oh Lord, what has come upon us. Consider, behold our reproach. This is Lamentations 5. Our inheritance, well, inheritance is Israel. But the Lord chose. Give me uh, 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 Deuteronomy uh, 7 and 6. Uh, the Israel is the chosen people. Okay? Uh, no, it says the chosen people. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. The so called Jews are actually from the seed of Esau. Up in the synagogues, they teach that they're from the house of Esau. And Esau was Jacob's wicked brother. He said, we are orphans and fatherless. Our mothers are as widows. We have drunken our water from money. It says, we have drunken our water from money. Our wood is sold unto us. That's why in America, or in the whole damn world now, you got to pay for water. It is the Lord gave you everything for free, gave you the rivers and the streams. You know what I'm saying? We should be able to just go get water for free, but no, the devil makes it so you gotta pay for water. We should be able to... We should, we should be able to pick an apple off a tree and eat it. But instead, no, instead of doing a natural thing and picking the apple off the tree, the devil goes and picks them all off the tree, takes them... Genetically you modified. Go store, you gotta pay for we have to, I mean, like, just, I mean, we don't have to, but... the whole damn tree out. You're right. What's not something you saw out Really? <laughs> but still, some of that's GMO. Like, just like... Um, like, if you get, like, a multi-grain chip, it says it's organic. That's, like, only one ingredient that's it's organic. If it's labeled organic, you don't have to use that. I grew up, you know. But there are some things that have GMOs in it. I ate where I got chest eaten. So I was eating berries and apples out of all the trees, man. Or going to my friend's house. Hey, watch this script, but you don't see this stuff anymore. Let me read this real quick. Lamentation 5 and 5. Our necks are under persecution. We labor and have no rest. In America, there is no Sabbath. Where's the you know retirement that? age? You know, America goes seven days a week, nonstop, no Sabbath. Non -stop. There's, non -stop. No, there's no day of rest out here. Hey, there's some people that even make you work six, seven days right, a week. And, right. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't like it, they fire you. That's right. Get break, put a Mexican in there. That's why, them bring, that's why they allow the Mexicans to come in. Yeah. You know, ain't that, they're still our brothers, but that's there's, this, 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 this thing is much deeper than what you see. You know what I'm saying? Because oh, yeah. their thing is to ex the niggas out. And bring the Mexicans in, the new niggas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But seriously, that's what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. They think that's gonna happen. They think that's it's gonna be fruitful, but man, all this shit will come to an end, man. Well, all right, the population is rapidly declining in the US and they're using Mexicans. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. that backfire in the ass. Well, for sure. well, especially among the uh, Caucasian, uh, the birth rate is low. Yeah, yeah. The birth rate is low, you know? Yeah. Plus, if you look at white America, it's older. They're more older than the younger ones. Well, mostly the Edomites, though. Well, I mean, right, right, exactly. But there's a lot of Israel that's in there that's career money. Yeah, because yeah, the motherfucking hillbillies, they ain't oh, using no multiple. They ain't using no with sister. Man, they go, that got me. Yeah, they, <laughs> <laughs> them hillbillies are Israelites. Yeah, I'm definitely hillbillies. I'm definitely, definitely, definitely Israelites. Them hillbillies don't definitely. get the damn hillbillies. But you're right, though, man. It, yeah. This this problem was, all this was just, it, this was designed years ago before we even came in fruition, you know?
they they just they 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 envisioned this years ago. You bringing children in the world, and your children not knowing who the parents are. That go actually it goes all the way back to uh, Plato. Plato, you ever read that's Plato? A, Utopia. This is what you call a Neoplatonic society. Because mm -hmm. if you ever read Plato, you can get Plato if you never read it. You ever uh, been at uh, sacredtext.com? Is it dot com or dot org? Oh, they like have like daily scriptures or whatever. Well, they have all the ancient texts from uh, Plato to the Bible to okay. the uh, Iliad and Odyssey, so. everything. Anything you can imagine is on sacred text. Yeah. You can just Google that shit. Yeah, yeah. But uh, but if you read Plato, and Plato said in the perfect world, and his Plato's utopia, no, no baby would know who their mother and father was. Everybody would have sex with everybody. There'd be no such thing as marriage. Pretty much what we have now. Yeah. Like you being a woman, man, I'm sure you've probably experienced it right now, but they're going to encourage you as much as possible to have as many abortions as you want. Abortions. You know, as long as you got your career in your mind. That, to them, to the elites, the, your career is more important than you and your family. Yeah. So they're going to encourage you to kill every damn seed. That, that goes back to the scripture where it says, we labor and have no rest. That's, that's right, that's right. You know what I mean? That was prophesied. The Lord right. prophesied this. You know what I mean? America was prophesied long ago. It's a foul society. It's a foul society. And they mask it by giving, I mean, they mask it by putting these bars on the corners so you can have all the alcohol you want. Yeah, that's why they legalize marijuana. You know? So well, you I mean, can stay even, fucked up this whole it, time. So as long as you fucked up. Even though it, every, it should be. Since legal, when are you going to start caring about issues of the world? Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? They just want you to be doped up, high out your fucking mind, so you can't fucking. And even when you do turn on the news. Yeah, some bullshit. Who the hell wants to hear about those parents? They just have to touch her fat ass. Oh, man, that's fake ass anyway. Yeah, it's fake anyway. She had a nice body before she started getting her fat pumped in her butt. And wait, she already had a nice body. And Kanye West is a big faggot. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He's just a big fucking faggot. He's he a prefer fish, yeah. 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 South Park. That's yeah. my shit. Well, yeah, I, South Park. I love South Park. I love South Park. I told you I love South Park. I, got, I, got to watch I am stuck in South Park. Because they put messages in it. Yeah, yeah. They put messages in South Park, man. That's the way they get out of That's right. Through the movies. Well, yeah, through the yeah. movies. They yeah. do give you. But if you don't have that spiritual mind, that third eye, to, 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 you know, to, uh, discernment, spiritual discernment. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. You know, what's right and what's wrong and what's wicked. And, you know, then you're just gonna be another zombie, just like the normal, you know, just like these stupid oh, ass your niggas. boy. Like oh, your boy. Niggas. Zombies, man. Them black zombies. <laughs> that's, your that's your homie. Oh, is it? oh, okay, <laughs> dude. dude. What's up, homie? What's up, man? So, yeah, so we getting in the spirit now. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate what you guys did together. How did you get together? Spirit. 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 I mean, we're on YouTube. Right on the street. That's why the, that's why the uh, Rockefeller, the senator from West Virginia, you seen that video where he said uh, the internet was the biggest mistake they ever made. You can see it's an actual video of him saying it. Because he knows. Yeah. This, this, once this got out, this, 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 Right. And now it's been out for so long, you can't turn it off now. You can't. It's too so late. You, you got border blue on. Hey, Chen, here, look. Here you go. Here look you at go. his shirt. You got the border blue with the right, fringes. Right. Oh, hell no. What's that? Here, let me get this. Oh, he got his fringes. Yeah, I'm going to get one more. You on Twitter? He be watching what videos you with you. We can find this car. Oh, it's fine. Kings of the Earth on Twitter. Kings of the Earth. And Bones to the Wicked on YouTube. You post everything on Twitter. That's a two note. Everything. Daniel 12 and 4. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the word and seal the book. Even to the time of the end. We in the end now, so the book has been unsealed. Many shall run to and fro. You got everybody going to and fro. You got people catching planes going to the other side of the earth. Never before in the history of the earth have people been traveling, you know, from one country to the other with ease. You know Regular basis. And knowledge shall be increased. Knowledge is increased. Right, that goes to the internet. Now we got, uh, you know, we got technology. We got the internet. We got computer programming. They want what Ezra said now. Seal. The image, image of a, of a voice. voice. Yeah, that's bad. All right, you can use audacity. You ever use the program? There's a prophecy in the book of uh, Ezra's 
it tells you in the Ezra uh, what an angel's talking to. Hold on a second. Oh, yeah. There's too much to go into. This, this part of the Bible they just oh. took out. See, Apocrypha, authorized King James Version. Books they were removed. From Apocrypha Bible. means hidden away. Right. Yeah, because look, without the Apocrypha, there's only 66 books in the Bible. And that's not a very good number. Everything is spiritual that goes in. Okay. Remember, everything is spiritual going on, either from the left hand or the right hand. Because yeah, really, there's 81 books in the Bible. It's the King James Bible. You got you to get to an Apocrypha. <laughs> He's like, there's more than that. Eating his pork sandwich. Oh, the Magdalene, Mary Magdalene and uh, Barnabas and yeah. Enoch. All that book. The books of Eve. Oh, Adam and Eve. Man, there's all kind of crazy madness out there that you can get caught up reading. You got to you out. Yeah, if you speak English, you got to stick to the King James. Yeah, don't fuck with anything. No King, else. no new authorized version King James. Nah, hey, no, stay away from that. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta go to them thrift stores and get you a thrift. You know, that's what they mainly get. Yeah. Really, you gotta study Hebrew, though. You know what I mean? If you if you really, do you believe in this book? Yeah. Or do you believe this is some, because uh, some people say. I believe, I believe in a higher power. I don't believe in that book. Well, this book is the truth. Yeah. Okay? This is the book. I know, I know. That's you know what I'm saying? This is the book that got you out here talking to me right now. Yeah. If it weren't for this book, we wouldn't even be talking. This book gotta shut right. these professors and scholars down here. Well, they obsessed with it. <laughs> yeah. These scholars right. are obsessed with this book. But they got their own doctrine. Yeah. You know? But it's true. You can't even get hired. But you can teach this people the way we got teach them. They won't even hire you. They won't hire you. Well, yeah. what? hold up. Gatekeepers. They got a scripture posted up right there on the college wall. What's that? John 8 and uh. It says, the truth, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. That's called hypocrisy. <laughs> that's hypocrisy at the highest level, man. Yeah. When you get to these universities, that's hypocrisy. Yeah. So hypocrisy you read is from liberty. the King James Bible and that's been revised by King James? Well, King James, it's the English Bible. We study the Hebrew and Greek. Because right. for the English, we don't read. Everybody out here speaks English. That, that's the tongue. Right. So we can't come out here and speak in Hebrew and Greek. Right. These guys like we, like an alien. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, but, but the King James is better than every other Bible. It's, it sounds more majestic. It's more, it has more authority, it has more power in the words. But if, you, if I read a scripture in the King James and then read one out of the NIV, the King James sounds way better. You know what I'm saying? It sounds more powerful. Right, it's more powerful. It's through the Spirit of the Lord that it's given to us in English. Because King James was an Israelite like from the tribe of Judah. You know what I'm saying? Jacob is Rex. Okay, he's an Israelite. Rex! Well, like I was saying, those people, they think, you know, they're doing something and they follow the Democratic or the Republican Party. But That's all not, bullshit. Yeah, they're not very informed. We don't, give a, we don't give a goddamn about America. <laughs> exactly. Politics, man. That's, yeah. that's nothing but a uh, Ameri uh, America. Politics ain't nothing but a form of. Well, you got the left and right wing with two wings of the same eagle. Yeah. Which is the eagle is the symbol of Zeus. Yeah. Okay. Mm. It's, it's the symbol of Zeus. Mm. America is the Roman Empire reincarnated. You know that? Mm. You know Capitol Hill? The Capitol Hill is the main government building. It's named after Capitol Hill in ancient Rome. Which was the temple to Jupiter, aka Zeus. That's why you look at Capitol Hill uh, in DC, what's on top of it? It's a statue of Minerva. Okay, the, the ancient Roman goddess. Okay, where she's like the Roman equivalent of Athena. So that that that, that Capitol building is a temple. Yeah. You've been down uh, downtown and you've seen the Capitol building downtown here? Yeah. It's a temple. Yeah. It's an ancient Roman temple. Just like the city hall is a is an ancient temple. temple. So there's probably sacrifices and everything. Oh, Especially course. when they first built them things. I can imagine what was going on then. Or when they laid the, laid the cornerstone and all that. They, they have the a, foundation now. They have yeah. they have that. They probably they probably snatched all kind of children oh, off the streets and they probably well, did all kind of crazy sacrifices. I guarantee you every solstice. They definitely did something. Every solstice, you know what I'm saying, they sacrificed the children. Mm -hmm. See people don't realize that the greatest trick this devil ever performed was to get the world to think that he don't exist. When this devil's wickedness goes much deeper than what you can comprehend. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's so crazy you can't 
Well, it's, it's mind-boggling, really. Like, and people are, and, and these everyday people that you see are part of it. You know? That's why he's going to kill two-thirds of our people. He's going to kill two-thirds of our people, and it says by pain. Yeah, two-thirds of our by people. pain. They got to die that Because these death. people should have known better. They should have known better. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's going to be a good time then. <laughs> Good time then, because when the Lord comes, he's, coming, he's bringing that hell. Well, what you know about UFOs? UFOs? Yeah, believe it. You ever, so you ain't never seen a UFO before? <laughs> I've never seen one. Oh, you never you seen, seen one before? You don't, do you believe in them? Do you ever look yeah. up? I think they're real. You gotta look up on a clear There's night. Much ruler really than what you think. And you going They're above us right now. Before you leave, let me read what scripture to you. I'm gonna show you something. Especially when this word is coming out with truth like us. They're definitely up there. The they, one, can, they can just appear right now. The one you call Jesus Christ. After he died and rose from the dead, he's not a sun god either. I know you've heard that bullshit before. Yeah. We'll kill that. But after he died and came back to life, he taught the disciples for a while. And then he got beamed up in a so-called UFO. He left the earth. And the Bible tells you that. It said he was received by a cloud. He went up into the sky. That's how he left the earth. And he said, I'm coming back the same way. The same way. Here you go, Acts 1 and 8. But ye shall... Let me start at 7. And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the time or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. Right. We, we don't know, but no man knows the day of the Lord. Yeah. Only the Father. Uh, but ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Spirit is come upon you. The Lord's going to turn us into superheroes. He and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Right, it, America's the uttermost part of the earth. Just passed. Confusion. We live in Babylon. And when he has spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. That wasn't an actual cloud. See, the word UFO is not in the Bible. Spaceship is not in the Bible. Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, hey, the chariots go beyond a spaceship. It's something you can't comprehend. It's not made out of uh, nuts and bolts. You know what I'm saying? Titanium. And they're going right there. Uh, hopefully somebody can just got destroyed. Yeah. Imagine, look, these chariots, they can appear and they disappear. They go through things, through walls. They can go from the water to the space you know what i mean they're, they're the angels of the lord you look up you know? on a clearest night and you, you'll see chariots all over the place just flying they're flying patterns that no human-made craft could possibly fly in. especially if you ever had the privilege of being outside the city lights yeah. right you've been in the country yeah. i mean at night it's beautiful all the stars you see and, but sometimes you're looking up you actually see them you'll see some crazy shit up in the sky Stuff, right right but all you got to do is just look up and sometimes and you can see them. sometimes they start dancing for mm -hmm. you yeah because yep. I've seen them. I've seen them. It looked like they were just, it looked like they were playing soccer or something. Yeah, they go. I was watching. I was, you know? And they'll, like, they'll bounce they back dots, and forth. And, up and the and dots down. were changing color from yellow, white, red. They were changing color, all of them. Yeah, you ever hit up? And next thing you know, they shot off. You ever hit an old slave you know? song? Uh, sweet chariot coming, oh. coming to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot. Swing low. What does it mean by swing low? They're talking about that because the slaves knew the slaves was out in the field and they looking up in the sky and they praying to the most high to come down and save me. I'm gonna read the I'm gonna read the lyrics. Okay. I'm gonna read the lyrics. Just like that other you got another song, uh She'll be coming, she'll be coming the around the mountain when she comes. The, the original song, they changed the lyrics. The original song was King Jesus, he'll be coming with them chariots when he comes with the bright you gotta look up on it's on Wikipedia. Here it is, here it is. That's what you got, old spiritual. The words they call them the old Negro spirit. Here it is. Oh, we'll be drive the chariots. <laughs> yeah, we thought the old uh, you yeah, let me just gonna start at this. Yeah. King Jesus, he'll be driver when she comes. When she comes, she'll be loaded with bright angels. When she comes, when she comes, she will neither rock nor totter. When she comes, she will run so level and steady. When she comes, she will take us. To the portals to the when portals. she comes. This the is an old slave song. From the when we had yokes of iron around our necks and 
iron on our ankles, you know? And you Talk see about portals? And you see how they changed the lyrics? You see how they changed the lyrics on that? Right. Yeah. They didn't want this getting out. You know what I'm saying? Right. So we, we've been known about the chariots. Okay? I'm going to finish reading the scripture in Acts. Right. That's our salvation. When America's getting destroyed by the missiles, the Lord is going to save his elect. Just like in that movie, The Knowing. You seen the movie, The Knowing? Uh, you got to see that. It's with Nicolas Cage. Y'all seen The Knowing? Well, they got that from the Bible. Okay? Just like when they showed the destruction came, but the angels came to save the... Of, uh, uh, select little kids, little kids. Yeah. yeah, they let the preachers and everyone else yeah, behind. Yeah, that's funny in that movie. All that's the preachers yeah, yeah. That's what's gonna happen. Most the animals people. and the kids, but left the preachers. <laughs> All these preachers out here are gonna get burned up, bro. That's what's gonna happen because they're 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 leading the sheep. The they're sheep, pimps. You know, and the Lord said, "Feed my sheep." Don't. Don't give them genetically modified scriptures. All they, all they do is pass around that offering plate. <laughs> right, right. Here you go. Let me finish Acts 1 and, 1 and 10. And while they looked steadfastly, steadfastly toward heaven, looking up. This is after he got received by the cloud. He got received by the cloud. Read that again. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven. They was amazed. As he went up. As he went up. That's up. Behold, two men stood by them. And why the peril? Is it angels? Two angels. Just hit Peter. Why, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. So when the Lord, he coming back the same way he left out the sky. He coming with legions of angels. Independence Day. A giant cherry came out the cloud and it was on fire. It ain't gonna just be one. <laughs> it's gonna be legions. It's, it's gonna be so many, it's, it's gonna, it could be daytime like this, but it's gonna